Hi, my name's Dion. I'm one of the founders and the CEO of MindHive, and we're just going to take a moment to walk through our leather grading system as currently installed here at Crest Leathers in Italy. We'll just walk through the key components of the system, how we capture the images, basic fundamentals of how the grading process works, and we'll wind up back here at the screen where all the information is displayed. So follow me through. At its heart, our system is a series of industrial cameras working as a team. Most systems use four, some use five. We have two industrial laser scanners that provide us with thickness and substance measurement, depending on the specification of the machine, and some purpose-built, very high-intensity machine vision-specific lighting, which allows us to get a very clean color gradient and a very clean image of, uh, of the highs we're looking at. Our systems are always bolted up to the back of a Samming machine or a ringer, depending on which part of the world you're watching this from. So we look at the highs as they come out the back of the machine while in full production. We don't stop production flow. We look at the highs as they're coming out of the machine. The images that we collect are then processed locally, on-site, in our on-site processes before being returned back. It takes us around about two seconds to provide a grade at the end of seeing the entire hive. That information is then used to either feed an automatic stacker, like we have here, or just display into a, into a display for humans to stack pallets, forklift operators to do things like that. So follow me around, we'll have a look at the other side, look at the basic fundamentals of how the system's installed, and then we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit about how our detection system works and the grading that follows. Okay, so now we're on the other side of the ringer. We were on the other side before. This is an area where we've got some service stuff going on, uh, just general process, and we keep our main control cabinet in this installation. All of our systems and all of our frames are built to spec for each customer site. Before we come to a site for an installation, we have had a tech team member arrive with a 3D scanner to give us a big detailed over, uh, site overview before we then specify a machine. All of our machines have custom-built frames, which are purpose-built for the size and dimensions of the ringer, the felt, any other supporting equipment like water stacker, uh, outfeeds or outfeed belts have to be taken into account. The system in general straddles the entire belt, the entire outfeed, and then we specify a frame that's large enough to give us the correct angles for our system. So just squeaking around in here, we've got four cameras, all arranged on a common rail and then angled very accurately at the belt for us to get a really clean shot of the hides. You'll also see very high intensity lights, which are low, mounted lower down, which gives us the perfect setup for detecting hard to see defects, small open defects, things that are really critical for ongoing grading. You can also hear and see there's a couple of laser scanners, which are difficult to see with the naked eye, but they provide us with a relative thickness and substance measurement, which helps a lot for certain applications like sex grading, uh, understanding if a hide is going to be suitable for splitting, things like that. Let's have a look inside the kit though. So locally to this side, there's no processing going on. This is just capturing information and busing it back to our main processes, which are kept somewhere else on site away from water and sulfur and that sort of thing. Uh, so this is just controlling our lights, our picking up our camera feed, our laser feed. We have integration options for talking to auto stackers, local control. We pick up a signal from the ringer, which allows our customers to change the speed of their process without having any recalibration issues from our end. So nothing really particularly complex going on in here. Just a good, robust, self-restoring system that can deal with power fluctuations and all the other things you might see in a tannery built inside an industry standard cabinet that's capable of wash down, otherwise waterproof. Okay, we're back around the front side of the ringer now, next to our industrial display, which is our primary communication and interface method for users and operators working around the system. All of the height information that's captured by the cameras is processed locally on site, as I mentioned before, in our high power processes, which are stored somewhere else. Information is then sent back to the display, it can be configured for however a customer would like to operate it, but provides an opportunity to see things like height information, defect information, as well as a primary interface for inputting information at a local level from an operator's point of view. Things like tan pack information, lot information, whatever we want to be picking up as part of record keeping for each grading run. Uh, it allows operators to see pictures of the hides in real time as we're producing them. Uh, we can show substance, we can show defects, this is particularly veiny hide. It also allows us to demonstrate things like very accurate area measurement. In most cases, we can replace more traditional systems like a GER with a more accurate, higher resolution uh, solution. And at this site, we'll also be displaying things like grade information. Not right now, obviously, because that's proprietary, but every site will have that demonstrated locally. This display is our primary mechanism for communicating outwards information. So for a simpler site where our customers might be stacking highs directly onto a pallet manually, operators or stackers would be looking at this display 
for information as to where they should be putting each hide based on how many number of grades we're looking to, to produce. This particular site has an auto stacker, so we will be putting that information directly back into process control, uh, and the auto stacker will be placing the hides on pallets for later processing. Varies from a site to site uh, basis. We're also able to communicate things like issues, should the, the system have any faults or errors that need to be resolved, as well as very plain language information back to operators about how to resolve those issues, if they are operator resolvable. Things like clean the lights if we're seeing the images are too dim, uh, check the cameras uh, for cleanliness if there's any blurry spots in our images, things like that. Obviously available in the local language, we, we, we tailor them to every single site that we go to, but it's a very simple, efficient way of communicating information outwards to our customers locally on the floor and then giving an opportunity for them to provide the information back to us, like I said, in the form of TAN information. Most sites have at least one of these, this site has two, we usually run them in backup. The industrial, very much washed down rated, so they're able to take the tannery environment really well uh, and overall a really good, simple solution. Thank you for taking the time to watch our brief video intro of our grading system here for leather. Uh, there's obviously a lot more in-depth technical information that we can provide. Uh, as well as discussing specific site needs that might be different for your site. So don't hesitate to get in contact. Uh, we'll be available at CMAC this year uh, and always happy to have a chat.